This is my client Jennifer and she has a developmental asymmetry of her pelvis and it's a subtle difference. It's noted in the anterior pelvis and we've done all manner of passive movement testing throughout the pelvis and there's no direction in which there's a blocked movement and she's been doing treatment to restore what was blocked previously a couple weeks ago and she's done a good job of maintaining that mobility so the remaining asymmetry that she presents with today is how her pelvis is developed and we note that when in sitting with her feet together um, we note that the right tibia lower leg is taller and we also note that the femur on that side is longer and it's unknown if this asymmetry is in the length of the leg bones the thigh and the lower leg bones or if it's in the pelvis but because we saw an asymmetry with her laying on her back on the pelvis then I'm then I'm implicating the pelvis so uh, I'm suggesting that the way her pelvic bones developed gave her a permanent asymmetry. So the question that I'm asking is if there's something that we can do to improve sitting comfort when she's sitting for more than say a half hour at a time. And our first experiment was to take a piece of, of soft foam and put it under one of the choke hanners. And we did that on both sides and there was no significant improvement in her comfort. So the next experiment was then to have her sit. Uh, this is a quarter inch notepad and we put that under the left side and then we put that under the right side. Okay, and there was no significant improvement. Let's have you put it behind you against the back and we tried this also on the right, and tell us how it feels when you have this on the back. Uh, it feels like my legs, in terms of sitting, they're, they're more equally um, lengthened, as well as equally weighted through the hips as I'm sitting down on my sit bones. So it feels more natural. Absolutely. It feels so, like I'm sitting up taller as well. Yeah, so we're making the chair conform to your body, mm -hmm. conform to the asymmetry in your pelvis, rather than trying to force it mm -hmm. into a false symmetry. And um, you can buy craft foam at Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and you can buy it in, I think it comes in two millimeter thick and then five millimeter thick. Mm -hmm. And so you could pick up a five and a two and cut those out and see how that feels. You could tape them together or glue them together if, mm -hmm. if adding those together is, is helpful. Okay. So make it an experiment. Yeah. And an experiment with a little bit more, you know, uh, try a five and a two and then a two again, mm -hmm. you know, and see what that does for your sitting comfort. And uh, it could be something that you want to keep in your car so that when you're driving for more than a half hour at a time, it, it might improve your sitting mm -hmm. comfort. Sure. I, that, I definitely notice it when I drive for a long period Do of you? time. Mm -hmm. My hips tend to get more achy. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. This is a nice video demonstration of how we can experiment with balancing the seat mm -hmm. to make the seating surface conform to the yeah. developmental asymmetry in your pelvis. Thank you. Yep.